Can you see me now? I want to make sure. Can you see me now? That's a little cozy rosy over there. Can you see me now? You can see me now? Oh, let me repeat what I said. Harry, this is me calling you a thieving right in front of your firstborn daughter. And uh, she didn't say a goddamn thing about it. What do you think about that? Thieving. And I don't like that word, actually. I don't use that word very often. I really actually detest that word. But when you are actually a thieving, uh, I don't detest it anymore. I, I feel like it's appropriate. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Spam, getting wrecked. Can you sneed me? I'm looking through. Is the feed actually working? Okay, I'm looking through. Tell me if the feed's working, because if not, I can just, like, go to sleep. <laughs> if, the, if the feed's working, I can just go to sleep. I mean, not working. It's sort of Ralph and Tom. It is working, King. All right, let's see. Um, I thought there was... Oh, wait, let's see. I thought there was a way to... Oh, the TTS is not working, though, is it? It does look like it's working, but the TTS, I don't think it is. Or I'm just not hearing it. Let me turn it up. I do rarely say it. You're right. I rarely say the N word. I don't. I don't say it very often, but uh, Harry Morris is a nigger. So, yeah, I will say that. Harry Morris is a gigantic nigger. But I still don't. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, here, here is it. Let's see. TTS overlay. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Is that it? No, see, that's the, um, that's the goal. Somebody is sending a super chat or I'm just going to stop the stream, literally. So if somebody doesn't send in a super chat to prove that it works, I'm just going to turn off the stream. Literally. So if I don't hear in a super chat in about five minutes... I'm just going to turn this dumb shit off. So, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I had to buy this cheap ass fucking selfie stick. Yeah, if there's no more, if there's no super chats, I might as well just go to sleep. I don't work for free, so it's whatever. I mean, and honestly, I don't really know if they're working. Can you test the super chat? I know they accuse me of sending them my own all the time, but like, I literally don't even know if it works. Yeah, the today's victory was absolutely unbelievable. I had them all thinking I got kicked off the plane last night in Philadelphia because uh, me and my wife had a little small spat and some woman turned around and told me what she thought and I told her to suck my fucking dick and mind her own fucking business which she didn't care for uh, and some other mulatto in the row over told me to shut my mouth and I told him uh, he could meet me outside the plane afterwards if he would like uh, and uh, Delta didn't care for that uh, and they threw me off the plane uh, but they let me back on the plane Today, and I didn't have to pay a single dime. I did have to pay $77 in taxes for Rosie. Uh, they're saying I'm muted. Muted, no. I hate fucking this shit.
Is it still muted? Oh, video only mode. Is it muted now? It, it should be okay now, right? Yes, it's good. The stream is working. Can you hear? Yeah, it's good. Can you hear? Can you super chat? Because if there's no super chats coming in, I'm just going to quit the show. Because I'm not doing this show for free. I'll just save it for next week. If nobody's paying money for this show, I'm not doing it for free. And I'm dead serious. <laughs> I got too much to say. I got too much. I got too many jokes. I got too many ops. I'm not giving this motherfucker away for free ever. So, um, it's up to y'all, really. It's not muted for me. God of Conquest, 91 cent, $3 retards again. Now, see, I heard that one. Now, it was only $3, but, you know, I got to give credit where credit's due. <laughs> <laughs> but worse you saw I got kicked off the plane like Thank you by the way. Roy Ped Live sent ten dollars Ralph one. I got kicked off the plane last night and me and her we were literally arguing about the fucking stroller and some dumb white bitch, old white bitch, turned around and told me what she thought. And I told her she could literally suck my fucking dick and choke to death on it. And she didn't like that commentary, so she called. Jakey sent $5 some cash from Chiefs Winnings. Thank you, brother. There's more Chiefs Winnings coming. There's no Bills Winnings coming, though. Oof. Uh, but anyway, um... I told her that, and then they came over and talked to me, and they're like, is it going to be cool? By the way, Brooks Brothers, mm, nice suit. And I said, yeah, it'll be cool, it'll be cool. But, of course, they kept yapping, they kept yapping. So, finally, they threw us off the plane. So, we got thrown off the plane. They wouldn't let us ride to Rome, but they let us rebook today for absolutely free. I, except for the $77 I had to pay for Rosie's taxes because she gets a free ticket, but I still have to pay her taxes. Uh, so basically it just cost me a day's worth of my Rome trip. I would always tell a dumb fucking whore to suck my dick every single time. And I don't regret it at all. And I love how the whole internet had all this. God, we worked her parents. We worked Kiwi farms. We worked onion fag farms. We worked everybody on the internet we work my own f anonymous sent three dollars for the content powder fund thank you we work my own friends actually and i felt bad about it because i was like but you know if i told anybody it was gonna get out it was it was too it was too spicy because it was too hot of a story i trust dick i trust you know i trust these people but it's like man it's too spicy, and if he just lets one thing slip, it's going to go up in smoke, and everybody everybody gonna is going to know it's fake and that we didn't actually break up and all that shit. Uh, and so I put out all these tweets, and I was like, I'm going to release your revenge. Hot sticker sent $10 Rome. I said, I said I'm going to release your revenge porn tape, and how dare you and Alana <laughs> Ruben sent $3 Roman Ralph Reigns righteously. By the way, Alana don't suck no dick. Well, I mean, I guess she does. She didn't suck my dick. If I had to guess, her dick sucking skills are subpar. But uh, I don't have any, I don't have any firsthand knowledge on her dick sucking skills. But I started making tweets about how I was going to put out, uh, you know, certain tapes. It's basically just obvious bait, like... A guy who took a no contest plea is literally going to go on Twitter and talk about release. <laughs> the world's can email sent twenty five dollars. I'm glad everything is all good, boss. Thank you, man. You know what? Honestly, I hated working my. I got a lot of messages from a lot of friends, and they were worried about me because they love me. They love Pantsy. They love Cozy Rosie, and they like didn't like what they were saying. Not they weren't attacking me, but they were just like, "I hope everything's okay, boss." I don't want to see this happen. 
you know, make it good. And I felt bad about doing that. Groupman sent three dollars. Roman Ralph reigns righteously. Also, can I even let me scoop this out a little bit? Fuck, I don't even know if I can. Without spilling. Oh shit. Okay, I should just leave it alone before it fucks up again. Uh, <laughs> so once we got kicked off the plane, the funny part is they had the story. I got kicked off the plane for telling a bitch to suck my dick. Literally, that's why I got kicked off the plane. And that's a pretty good story. Like that's that's a log heaven. And instead, once that happened, I said, "Wait, that's gonna get out." I said, wait, that's going to get out. I said, Amanda, let's tell them we broke up at the airport and you took the baby. <laughs> Out of Conquest 91 sent $3 Nick earlier. Ralph looking distinguished. He saw me with the Brooks Brothers on. You know, I'm going to start rocking Brooks Brothers like Nick. You know, he saw me with the Brooks I was Brooks Brothers. I'm Brooks Brothers head to toe right now because my bags got stolen and I stopped at the fucking uh, JFK airport literally brought bought a thousand dollars book brothers head to toe in Rome right now so uh but you know I started thinking about it and I was like wait 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 this could either be you know fodder for them or we could make them look like complete idiots and I decided to make them look like complete idiots and I said wait 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 let's put up this tweet I'll talk about sex tapes i'll talk about your sister sucking my dick which she didn't and goddamn she would suck if she ever did and not in a good way uh and you know uh you know we saw the spick dick she's sucking i'm not too uh, i guess he'd probably he'd probably accept any type of charity but not me i like you know i like a good job put in i don't know what he goes for but regardless um you know, I started putting out all these wild tweets. She absconded with my, with my baby, and where's it going to go? Where's it going to go? And then within, like, 10 or 15 minutes, I deleted all the tweets to make it look like I backed off, to make it look like I was hiding. See, now this is the master troll part. Because then they thought, oh, Ralph's hiding. Oh, Ralph's hiding. Oh, 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 we got him archived. Oh, we got him archived. We got him archived. Except... Amanda was with me the whole night. We literally stayed in the same hotel that night. We went to the same airport the next morning and got literally boarded on the same gate to Rome. I'm not kidding. I think it was like, what was it, 32, 22? It was the exact same gate that we boarded to Rome. I didn't pay any fee except for Rosie's taxes because she gets in for free and they still make me pay the taxes. Didn't have to pay shit. Wasn't banned from Delta. Not a God blessed thing happened to me. And the A logs went crazy. They saw these tweets and they're just like, oh, they broke it up. Oh, finally. They were making like songs about it. They were tweeting about it. Like these are sick people. They're literally sick deranged individuals i mean first off i just wouldn't have time to do that <laughs> like even if i wanted to do that i, I wouldn't have time to do that like who, who the fuck even does that so like that was kind of strange uh and then i woke up this morning and uh put out the hulk hogan tweet and i can't remember do you remember how it goes exactly uh, basically working, uh, into a shoot. say it again. Don't work into a shoot, right? Yeah. Don't work yourself into a shoot. I, I can't do the Hogan quote justice cause I have to read it to, to fully get it. And then it was a picture with me and Amanda and we were on the way to the airport. And then Josh Moon, John Potter, the faggot came out and he said, I think he's holding Amanda hostage. And I think he made a deal with Harry and, and they're not going to say anything about each other anymore. And you'll never hear about Rosie again. And you won't hear about Amanda again. Me and Amanda just ate dinner on the rooftop of a Roman hotel. And it was damn good. Rosie's right there. You just heard her holler a minute ago. Josh, I know it's wishful thinking and you have no family and you have a broke dick and worse, you killed your family. So, you know, I know how you feel. Um, I understand that that's what you guys wish. Let's fucking send three dollars. Go king of the sector. You know what? I owned every single one of these faggots today. Kina Shea, 
Be careful who you listen to, pal. <laughs> you would be surprised. You would be very surprised who talks to you, who talks to me. Mm. You would be very surprised. And then their big, their big gotcha was, oh, oh, Ralph lied about getting kicked off the plane. First off, I never lied about getting kicked off the plane. I don't give a fuck about getting kicked off the plane. No, you lied about me breaking up with my wife and my child, you scumbag motherfuckers. That's what you lied about. I don't give a fuck about getting kicked off a plane. I just got right back on it the next day. I'm in Rome right now. You saw the pictures tomorrow. You'll see more. Uh, it's no big deal. I mean, it sucks, but like... Oh, oh, he got kicked off the plane. And the funny thing is, if they would have just kept it to, oh, drunk, crazy Ralph got kicked off the plane, they would have had a real story. But instead, they had to add in all this bullshit, all this fucking, oh, man, him and Amanda, Amanda finally left. And guess who got fooled the most? You know what? Harry. Harry, this one's for you, buddy. This, I'm, I'm going to chase it because uh, I'm not quite as old as you. You're, you're, you're 56 years old. I'm 37, you know. Uh, but but this one's for you. I'm going to chase it, though. I'm going to... Mm. Mm. I'm going to chase it. Dear, I hate to put you in a bad spot. I don't want to have you read it yourself, because that's your father. But I want you to give me the phone so I can read it. I want to read his email. Or I'm going to have to switch off screen to read it myself. Dick Masterson was rolling on him. Everybody's rolling on this dumb faggot. All he had to do was give me my money back. Literally, all he had to do was give me my money back. And he wouldn't be facing what he's facing right now. I destroyed his entire fucking family. Literally. And guess who else? You know what's funny? When I get kicked off the plane... I talked to his. I talked to her mom for quite some time, actually, and we had a good conversation. Uh, now it wasn't necessarily always the most. Friendly. Next one sent five dollars. Josh Moon rushed to celebrate your breakup and made a tier list to replace Amanda. Nigga, it's Sunday. Go to church or something. What is a tier list? Can somebody explain that? Do you know what that is, Amanda? Oh, like my former girlfriends and wives? Yes. Oh, but we're still married, though. No, he made one for me. Like, he made a best, like, shippings for me. Like, oh, for you to get together. Yeah, oh, I saw they made a video for, like, weirdos to get together with, you know. Yeah, that's what they're talking Unlock about. this. Well, that's not happening because that was all fanfic in the first place. See, remember when I called them fanfic farms? I'm about to show you, cocksuckers. I'm not done yet, by the way. <laughs> I'm not done yet, by the way. I just want you to know. I'm not done yet, by the way. 2023 is going to be my mission to make Kiwi Farms have less credibility than the fucking world star at the goddamn fucking checkout counter. That's literally my mission. Also, the uh, chat popped off. Let me, let me fix that up. Huh? It it, honestly, I mean, you're right. It does already has, have left, but whatever. All right, you're. You know what? Fine. Fine. You're right. Unlock this again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I am going to. They talked about. Oh, imagine running so many gay ops. First off, fuck gay ops. It's just ops, bitch. That's some faggot cancer patient made up gay ops. It's ops, nigger. It's ops. It's ops. That's what the blacks call it. That's what I call it. I don't give a fuck what some faggot anime fucking ass fucker up in Minnesota has to say about it. It's ops. And you got the ops ran all over your fucking face. Worski, you idiot. You fell for it twice. Worski fell for it twice. Within 24 hours. And I came out and showed a picture of me and Amanda at the airport and Josh came out and said it was fake and it was from the day before, which it wasn't. It was from today. And guess who bought that hook, line, and sinker? Oh, yesterday. It, well, yesterday because I had to travel 18 hours, but whatever. Guess who bought that hook, line, and sinker? Well, 
Guess who it was? It was Andy Worski. You know, there's a reason JF called you low IQ, Andy. Do you think JF would have fell for that one? Be honest with yourself. I want you to be honest with yourself. Do you think JF Garrett would have fell for that? He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have because he's not a fucking moron like yourself. You got absolutely destroyed twice in 24 hours. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> it's almost unbelievable. By the way, they're saying the, uh, I don't know if it's dropping a little bit here. Uh, I can see. Uh, let's see if I can. I might have to actually mess with it after to try to drop the, um, the bitch rate a little bit. Is it running mostly pretty good? Is it running mostly pretty good? Just let me know. And, uh, I can, I can drop the bitch rate. I'm just worried, like, that it might drop. So, so just in case. It's running mostly cool. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so here's what Harry Morris. Harry Morris, after I talked to his wife, he's too much of a bitch to talk to me on the phone. He's too much of a bitch. His dick's tucked further up his legs than Katie Turr. That's how, that, or Caddy Turr, whichever the one the, the tranny is. His dick's tucked so far up his legs, he can't even, I don't even know if he's seen it since the George H.W. Bush administration so he let his wife call me he let his wife call me who actually huh oh you're right it's his ex-wife oh yeah who cheated on him and left him yeah i forgot about that i forgot about that yeah you're right his ex-wife who cheated on him and left him yeah you're right she didn't say that but she reminded me of that we had a conversation about that too me and his ex-wife i actually like her better than him because she doesn't like me and i don't like her but she's not a phony fucker like he is here is uh, Ned Dad Morse buying it hook, line, and sinker last night. Love and prayers. Listen to this tweet. We love you, and you can reach us anytime, and we will help you. Please do not consider going back with this asshole. We can change your fucking name if we need to. Whatever it takes. You can come back from this. Believe me. Come back from what? Having a loving daughter and a marriage? What, what does he mean? Well, he came back from his marriage. It was called divorce. That's how he came back through his marriage. Uh, you know. What exactly is she coming back from? Raising her children? I know another woman who came back from that. Uh, I, I really don't understand what she's coming back from. But we can change your fucking name if we need to. Whatever it takes, you can come back from this. Believe me, we can help you, honey. Love, Dad. Now, by the way, notice this. I talked to her mother on the phone for about an hour in Midtown Manhattan, actually. And you know, the first thing she asked me, and I don't like her, and she doesn't like me. The first thing she asked me was, how is Rosie and how is Amanda? who were fine. <laughs> they were literally in a hotel and I went to the same hotel as the fucking dumbest fucking shit of all time. The cops actually, if you've ever had an incident at the hotel, they make you leave separately and then you have to go to another hotel. Anonymous sent $3 and logs and logged. Josh Moon felted. Content cut. Kiwi Farms ablaze. Ralph IP2 arc. Now the sector demands this amount of Kino needs to keep rolling. Oh, it's going to. But the cops, and I was arguing with the cops because I was like, we didn't even do anything. I was arguing with somebody else. Like, why are you throwing me off the plane? We're trying to go to Rome, dude. It's an eight-hour flight. And he's like, look, just keep it cool. It's liability reasons. If something happened, just look. They made us leave separately, and then we got back together five minutes later and rode to the hotel. And, well, I mean, you can imagine type of thing happens in, in hotels, but, uh, you know, uh, that's what went down. And so <laughs> the internet was ablaze, just an absolute ab ablaze thinking that this was the end. 
But back to her mother, I want to give her mother credit because her mother heard about it because I, I put out the tweets working people about a lot of, you know, doing a little dumb, doing all this and sex tape, this and that. By the way, I pled no contest to a sex tape. Do you think I would really be threatening releasing another sex tape that I didn't do in the first place? Uh, like, that? does that sound fucking smart or even reasonable in the first place? But whatever. Whatever. So, so her first questions were, how are Rosie and how are Amanda? Hey, Rosie. Hey, Rosie. She's trying to talk. She's moving her mouth. Uh, and I said, they're fine. You know, they're on their way to the hotel. I'll be there in a minute. I'm talking to you right now. Uh, you know what Harry's terms were? We can fix this. We can change your last name. He didn't ask about Amanda's safety, which she wasn't in danger at all. We did. Like, we got thrown off because we got into an argument with some other people on the plane. He didn't ask about, are you hurt? Do you, are you bleeding? Is something wrong with you? Is Rosie okay? He didn't ask anything except, it'll be okay, honey. We can change your last name. We can certainly change your last name. Hey, cocksucker, that last name ain't never getting changed. That's just dead. Unless your boy gets to work, the Morris name is dead. And so I just let you know that right now. You better tell him to get to work. Uh, he better. He might want to get on the treadmill too, because uh, I don't think I don't think it's looking so good. I don't think it's looking so good. Now, my name's going to continue, and I'm not done yet. I'm not even close to done yet. But you're just about done. And you're 56 years old, and you live in a house with your son, who I actually like. And the whole reason he's mad at me is because I took his daughter, which is what's supposed to happen. Your daughter's supposed to move away and live with another man and create another family. He wanted his daughter to live in with him, take care of him, wash his clothes, cook his meals because he's not physically capable and or he's just a lazy fat fuck who weighs 600 pounds and can barely walk around the fucking house. And he talks big like he's got guns and all this big shit. First off, not a good thing to say to me online and threatening violence and stuff like that. Believe me, uh, we got all that archived just to let you know. Uh, but also, nigga, you can barely walk down aisle six at Walmart. I'm not worried about you, cocksucker, ever. So I just want to let you know, anytime you feel froggy, I don't support breaking the law. But uh, if put in a self-defense situation, we all have to do what we have to do. So uh, I think you're a cocksucker. I think you're a faggot. I think you're a fraud. I think you got conned by me and your own daughter last night. And I think you should fucking kill yourself. That's what I think. And I really don't have much else to say tonight because, I mean, I could say something else. Does anybody, you know what? Super chat me a question and I'll ask. Otherwise, I don't have anything else to say because that was my rant. <laughs> and thank you for the support, by the way. I'll be back to regular shows um, Friday or Saturday. Uh, I'm in Rome right now. We just went and had pizza, rooftop of Rome. Tomorrow, we're going to go see. Uh, some of the sites around here, Coliseum and all that stuff, especially um, Parthenon, all that stuff. Um, Parthenon, Pan I always get the Parthenon and the Pantheon mixed up. It's, it's the Pantheon. Uh, I don't know why I do that. But um, yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Sistine Chapel. Uh, I'm gonna, probably going to try to go to the Vatican. Oh, and guess what? A little birdie told me, Harry, that you're an atheist. They told me you're an atheist. An unimpeachable birdie told me you're an atheist. And that you like to LARP as a Christian online. Well, I'm here in the holiest of holy cities. And I think you're going to burn in hell. That's what I think. But, of course, it's up to the big man upstairs. I don't make those decisions. I don't make those decisions. But if I treated my daughter the way you treated your daughter... 
I would be looking forward to a very roasty future. Now, let me, did I make the, I'm trying to make the chat bigger so I can see. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sorry, I couldn't see all the chat. Okay, now, sorry, I can interact a little bit better. I'll stay on for a few more minutes because because I do have to go to sleep at some point so I can go see Ron more tomorrow. Fuck, won't this go away? Ah, ah, stop. Okay, there we go. Uh, so I worked Harry. He sent the email. He ain't said shit since because he got absolutely obliterated. He won't open his mouth again unless it's the stick Vickers' dick in it. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, I got lawyers all over this country on whatever petty shit he tries. I'm not worried about that. I got supporters all over this country who are ready and willing to shell out the money to keep me on air because they find me entertaining. Unlike you, Harry, failed blogger who couldn't cut it as an entertainer. They pay me. I'm in Rome right now. Do you understand? Do you understand? The world's greatest city. That's where that's where I'm at right now. You're in Rochester. So, you know, just, just keep it in perspective. Keep it in perspective. You might want to bring it down a notch because I was kind of nice to you yesterday. I could have been a lot meaner. I could have been a lot meaner. I mean, I could have... I could have had her on the way to your house, quote unquote, and never showed up. So I would just consider your next moves. I would hope that you would, you know, cease and desist. I would hope that Andy Worski, the one who killed his child, Andy Jr., would just shut his goddamn money maker. And by money maker, I mean dick sucker. Because he's been wrong on every single thing this week. Keno Copter also been wrong on every single fucking thing this week. Claire Bear from Chud Buds with a shit tooth. Which actually, I would fuck Vant Candy like a hundred times out of ten over Claire Bear. Like, Zomer Brain sent three dollars. Ethan Ralph W. Ponsu, Ralph W. Patrick Mahomes, Ralph W. Harry Morris. L thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are Chiefs Super Bowl, and I hate to say that, uh, but, you know, Amanda not necessarily is enthused. I know she's probably still a Bills fan at heart. Uh, she can't help it. But, uh, you know, it's not as fun. She watched – I'll be honest, and I don't know if she wants me saying this, but she watched the games with her dad. I mean, it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up what her dad did to her. That's what I think. And I'm speaking for myself. It's fucked up what he did to her. He betrayed her trust. He shared text messages that she told him in private on the line. She made, he made a huge online feud with me, her husband. I think he treated his daughter in an abhorrent way. And if it was up to me, he would never speak to his daughter again. Now, it's not up to me. But guess who it is up to me about? His granddaughter. And he won't be speaking to her again. So that's my thoughts on that. And it is a sad situation because there's no need for it in the first place. But if you ever thought I was going to back down, cocksucker, that ain't going to happen. That ain't ever going to happen. And I'll wait. I, I, I had another thought, but it's like I feel like I've said it all. Like, I, like how many times can I say this? You know what I mean? Like, I... I almost feel like I'm I'm just retreading ground, but I took your daughter, I took your granddaughter, uh, the daughter that wasn't worth a shit, that talks like fucking Waka Flocka. Nobody wants to fuck her, I mean, except from some lame spick. You know, I didn't worry about her. Uh, but, uh, you know, I took all the good parts of your family. You lost the other good part of your family. I won. Ralph won, Harry. Bigly. Very bigly. Now, I will say this. I'm a magnanimous man. You stole $4,000 worth of my property, and you sold another $4,000 worth of my property. If you pay me $8,000 that you owe me, 
I'll consider it neutral. You're still a faggot. I mean, we'll never be cool. But if you pay me $8,000, we can just go back to the way things were without me being there, obviously. But if you don't pay me that money, you're not seeing your granddaughter again and you're not seeing your fuck. Well, you're not seeing your granddaughter again. And your daughter has told me personally she has no desire to see you again. Now, I can't speak for her permanently. You know, I had fallen out with my dad, too, here and there. And maybe she will want to talk to him. And I completely respect that. But I can tell you one goddamn thing. You won't be speaking to my fucking granddaughter. So you need to think long and hard about who you're fucking with and where you're at right now and where you could be very soon. Now, is there anything else? Because I think I kind of nailed it. By the way, this Brooks Brothers, Nick was Nick was right. Brooks Brothers, man, I went full Brooks Brothers on these niggas, man. Look, dude. <laughs> oh, did you see this? Did you see this? I had the Mallards on the shirt, too. I went the full Brooks Brothers Mallards. Nick knows. See, Nick knows his fashion. That should made me smile when he said that. <laughs> I was like, oh, he knows I just dropped a grand at Brooks Brothers. Because <laughs> I didn't have any other clothes. They stole my bag. Uh, but, uh, you know, I don't speak for Amanda, but uh, I speak for my daughter. And uh, you won't be seeing her again uh, unless you make things right. And so that's my opinion. Um, as far as your ex-wife goes... Uh, never an ally of mine, but I actually have way more respect for her than I do you because you were a fake faggot fuck the entire time. And I always knew she didn't like me. <laughs> uh, and we could still talk shit back and forth to each other. Um, but I have way more respect for a person like that than I do just a duplicitous fake faggot like you. And I'm telling you now, and if you think I'm kidding, try me. You might just want to cut the check. You might just want to cut the check because there are legal things probably in the works to sue you in New York State for about $10,000 and stuff like that because that's how much money you've totally stolen from me and all that. Uh, I haven't decided if I actually want to do it because I have to pay lawyers a lot of money. But the thing is, you were so blatant about the things you stole and the laws you broke. A lot of lawyers would probably take this case for free. <laughs> so I probably won't even have to pay him anything. That's the thing. I have to make a few calls. You know, I'm too busy fucking your daughter. Uh, so sorry. You know, whenever I take time off my busy schedule of uh, railing your daughter, uh, I'll, I'll figure out. I'll figure out what that'll cost. But um, anything else, chat? I think I. I think I got my piece in. I think I got my piece in tonight. And shout out to Andy Worski, Aborski, the, the dumbest motherfucker in the history of the fucking internet. No shit. No shit. How could you fall for the exact same scam in the same day? I literally just ran the scam the day before. That's the kind of motherfucker that flies to the wrong airport. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's almost, it's like picking on a short bus nigga. Like, like, how could you, and he was so happy about it too. He's like, oh, 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 what about this? Oh, oh, I'm looking at his glasses and I don't see pants in his glasses and he's sitting at the train station and, and I can't see her and she wasn't there because she wasn't there. She was taking a nap. She had to take care of my fucking daughter on the airplane. She was tired idiot and uh, I guess you saw on the rooftop she did wish a uh, RIP to Andy Jr and I hope everybody goes online and I hope they listen to a man hot sticker sent $10 who stole your bag what's that story I missed it well cause when I get kicked off the plane it was hard to find my bag I found it and then I fucking had to find a taxi out of the airport. I went to the dead poet, which I shouldn't have done. And I ended up leaving my bag at the dead poet in New York and fucking lost my bag. So it is what it is. Shit like that happens. 
but no, Worski or Amanda or her dad or nobody else stole my bag. I stole my bag by being an idiot. <laughs> so no, there was no, there was no malfeasance, at least that I can prove uh, as far as that goes. But uh, but yeah, I did lose a little merchandise uh, as far as cameras and stuff. But uh, I still have my camera at home and all that. Uh, but yeah, that was just more annoyance, honestly. Uh, I would have paid a hundred thousand dollars to what I did to these faggots yesterday. Five thousand dollars, I would have paid a hundred thousand dollars to own these cocksuckers like I did yesterday, and owned they were, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you soon. Next time, hopefully, I'll have a desk set up. I can uh, maybe do something else tomorrow. I'm going to go out into Rome. Maybe do some live streaming there and uh, filming, etc. Show you guys what it's like and uh, show you some of the uh, classical works of antiquity. And uh, I think I think that's about it. Unless you know, I hold it up, I hold it open for like sixty seconds just in case there's a question. But uh, I think I said it all. I think I said it all. I shouldn't. Say it. I shouldn't say this shit, man, if I say this. <laughs> Jolene, that's the worst Dolly Parton song, by the way. Right? <laughs> Jolene! Yeah, that's the worst. Best little whorehouse in Texas, I think, fits your, fits your family a little bit better. Uh, but uh, anyway. Oh, and that was an Oscar Award winner, by the way. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back soon. I wanted to go to Rome. I'm in Rome. And uh, thank you for making it possible. And I wasn't going to let you down because I missed that flight. And I could have just went back home. But I raised all that money. And I said, you know what? I lost one day of my vacation. But I'm going to Rome. I'm going with Cozy Rosie. Going with Amanda. I'm not letting all this bullshit fuck with me. I'm going to have a good time. We're going to do a lot of cool shit tomorrow. And I just want to come on air and talk to you a little bit tonight. I'm not going to stay on here late. It's late at night. You know, I don't want to disturb the neighbors and shit. Uh, but also, I think I kind of said it all, really. So, big salute. And the Brooks Brothers, man. Look, man, you know what? Nick actually made me smile. She was watching me. When he said Nick was styling, <laughs> what did he say? Nick was looking, Nick, he said, Ralph looking distinguished tonight. It's because I had on a full length Brooks Brothers jacket. Uh, so shout out to Nick Fuentes. Honestly, I said this on Twitter yesterday. If it wasn't for Nick Fuentes, imagine if I had stayed loyal to Gator and Medicare and Dingo and fucking whatever other loser faggot that I created. Do you understand? Ima imagine if I had. If I had stayed loyal to those people instead of Bank and Beardson and Nick Fuentes and Wendell and everybody else on this platform, even Dalton, like, like at least he's got some kind of knowledge. These people are losers. You understand? Even the people we have beef with right now, right? Dalton Clawfelt. Wurzel Root? Think of the squad we have and what they have. They're busted. When Jim dies, they're done. When Jim dies, and it's going to be soon, it's literally over for these faggots. And I'm counting down the minutes. Cocksucker. Now, is there anything else? I don't think so. I think we got it all. Somebody said Apple tag next time. I don't even know what the fuck that means, nigga. Ralph, don't ever call yourself that. Don't call myself what? Uh, well, I do self-deprecative uh, comedy uh, because it's one of the funniest types of comedy. I mean, I'm an all-time internet legend of the last decade, so... I mean, I think everybody knows that, though. <laughs> So, yeah, you're right. You're right. I shouldn't talk so bad about myself, but I do that for jokes. Uh, I will always love you. But you know what? I don't count that as a Dolly song, Pot Sticker. Sorry. I know she wrote the song, and I know technically songwriters get the rights. But that's a Whitney Houston song, nigga. Sorry. Sorry. 
You know, I'm, I remember being at Baskin Robbins when I was seven years old, and that Whitney Houston song came on. I was just like, I was in love. I know this is a shock, Chocolate Sin, Ethan Ralph, but I was like, just head over heels for Whitney Houston. But you're right. Technically, you're right. She did, and she won the Oscar for it. And the reason Whitney Houston couldn't win another Oscar was she would, she should have won the Oscar for that song. But the reason she couldn't win the Oscar is because Dolly had already won the Oscar in like '82 for for the same song. So, but anyway, just a little bit of trivia. You wouldn't get that sort of thing from Morshi, I'm afraid. Salute, gentlemen. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Uh, what is tomorrow? What's, what's today? Today's Monday, right? Uh, Tuesday. I, I'm going to do something tomorrow uh, and walk around town uh, and uh, and show you guys some cool shit. And Rome, Rome is unbeatable when it comes to, I mean, it's literally one of the coolest, maybe the coolest city in existence. Do you want to see Cozy Rosie? Come here. Who's that? What are you doing? Huh? Can they see you? The noticer sent $3 fuck Milo for trying to get Nick to disavow the Ralph Molly. Snake trader. Did you know Milo was trying to get Nick to disavow you? Yeah, you know what? And I'll answer that real quick. Before I show, hold on, let me show Cozy Rosie. Hello, Cozy Rosie. Hello, Cozy Rosie. Uh, sorry, Harry can't pat you on the head right now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I saw that, and, um, I, and, uh, Nick said that directly, so I have no reason to doubt it. Um, you know, I've always tried to be, to, to try to be as low as I can to Milo, you know what I mean? Uh, because he helped put me on the map. Uh, but it does seem like he was trying to cut me out. He was trying to cut Ali out. He was trying to cut... Nick's real niggas out basically from the yay campaign um and I don't know the whole story on that but of course I think that's fucked up um I don't I don't know what his real game was other than to eventually cut Nick Fuentes out his real game was to originally cut he was gonna cut Nick out that was his his end game Nick Fuentes I'll say this real quick and I said at the beginning Nick Fuentes has never been anything but kind to me. We had a little spat years ago that was nothing. It was like a week. Uh, but he's always been a straight shooter with me. He's always been cool with me. He never tried to big dog me. He, he put me on his platform. He has made me untold thousands of dollars. And it's not about the money, but I'm just saying, you know, put me on the map, get, get, giving me respect, come on my shows for debates. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about Nick Fuentes. And a matter of fact, uh, you know, I would consider taking a bullet for Nick Fuentes. That's how I feel because this guy saved my life, if you want to know the truth about it. Medicare and his fucking gang of fucking schizo thugs thought they were going to kill me last year, metaphorically. They thought they were going to take my career out. And if it wasn't for Cozy.TV... They probably would have succeeded, to be honest with you. So, uh, what I think about what Milo, you know, I don't know the whole story. Uh, I know what Nick said, and I believe him. Oh, you got to disavow Ralph. You got to disavow this. Well, you know what, Milo? Why don't you disavow the pedophilia? Why don't you disavow getting fucked in the ass by priests? Why don't you name names for those Hollywood orgy parties that you went to, cocksucker? If you really want me to get dirty, there's, I'm the dirtiest player in the game, nigger. Yeah, that's me. I'm the dirtiest player in the game. And if you really want to start talking about some stuff, we can talk about some stuff. And I had a Christmas truce with my, with Milo, too. And that's kind of what makes this sad, because I really didn't want to do this to him, because we had a Christmas truce. But it's like, okay, you want to go there? Okay, well... Tell us about the pedophiles you know in Hollywood. Tell us about the fucking underage sex orgies you were at. Let's hear the real story. 
And I never said that on air ever until now. But you want an enemy, motherfucker? You got one. I'm loyal to Nicholas J. Fuentes. I'm loyal to Cozy.TV, and I could give a fuck less about Milo Yiannopoulos, period. That's my thoughts. And maybe he has another, you know, explanation. I don't know. But I'm not inclined to hear it, to be honest with you. I was disgusted. I was absolutely disgusted when I heard that, especially with how I tried to stick up for that faggot for years, knowing he was full of shit, but just, like, finding him entertaining, you know what I mean? And just trying to be a loyal guy. And guess what? One more shout-out. You know who else came out today? Mike Cernovich. And I know everybody in this chat don't like Mike Cernovich. But he came out and said they can't handle real Ralph and Males. Mike Cernovich came out and said that on Twitter. While Milo is trying to scheme behind the scenes, Mike Cernovich is loyal to me from fucking eight years ago. Because we never had a cross word. Not that we always agreed. We didn't. Mike Cernovich is actually, in my opinion, a good guy. And, you know, unfortunately, it, you know, and I'm still, hedging, you know, I don't know what was said. Uh, but I don't, I don't think Milo's a good guy. I think he's a schemer. I think he was trying to cut me out. I think he was trying to cut Ali out. I think he was trying to cut others out. And I think he sent a $150,000 fucking bill to Kanye West. And I think he should take that bill and stuff it up and sodomize ass. That's what I think he should do. Now, is that a Ralph Mel take? Is that is that a Ralph and Mel take? <laughs> Say goodbye, Rosie. Oh, can they see you? Hold on. Can they see you? Look at you. Oh, you look. She stands right up for the camera. Well, oh, look. She's trying to grab the camera. I have to go over here so I can see. Look at her. <laughs> She's a natural. Don't worry, I'll montage it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she looked at me and said that. She's a natural. Say goodnight. No, don't do that. Don't don't touch it. She likes to grab phones and play with them. Anyway, Cozy Rosie right here with me. Amanda, her mother, right here with me. <sighs> Harry, you're not right here with me. Anyway, take it easy, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to give it like 10 seconds, and I'm going to hit that button, and I'll see you tomorrow in the eternal city, Rome.